Hello and welcome back to lesson 5. In this lesson we're going to show how to use literal text which is what we started with where you tell the computer exactly what to say and how to put that on the screen and how to put a variable on the screen and how we're going to do it in the one line. This becomes really useful as we make more sophisticated programs. So let's have a look here. So I've already set the variable name equals Mr Omara. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say text window right line brackets name. So all it's going to print is just like last lesson, it's going to print Mr. Omara. And as I've moved that back in there, it in fact printed that variable. But what I can also get it to do is I can write above that text window uh, right line. Uh, and this time you'll notice I'm using inverted commas because I want to put in the actual text that's going to show on the screen. So on this line you'll see it's in red because it's literal text and on this line it's in black because that's a variable and variables show up in black. So I'm going to run it like that and it's going to say hello on one line and Mr Omar on the next or the name variable. But often we want to do this all on the same line and I'm going to show you how to do that. So. Here we go, text window, right line, and within the brackets, I'm actually going to open my inverted commas and write hello, comma, space, and close that, and then I just put a plus. And the plus says there's more coming. So what I'm saying is show this literal text, which is in red, you'll notice, and then show this variable. So if I run this, it'll put it on the same line, hello, comma, Mr. Omara. And if I were to um, change this variable to um, just saying people, name equals people, then when I run it, it will of course say hello people, but it will always say hello because that's literal text. So here is what you're going to do to show that you understand how this works. You are going to create a program that has a variable called name and that is going to be your name. It's going to equal your name and then you're going to have a text window right line where it's going to say hello and your name using the variable like I've done. But it's going to have your name in it and it's going to be reproducing both the literal text of hello and the variable which will be your name. And that is, of course, your time to code or your time to code. That joke really doesn't work if I say turn. Your time to code. So that time is now. 